The issue is the device has not technically been approved by the Food and Drug Administration because it doesn't have to be. The FDA tells ABC7 that LifeVac is registered as a moderate risk device, which makes it exempt from the clearance and approval process. But some doctors we talk to say it should be tested more thoroughly and is potentially dangerous. We showed the training video for the device to the head of pediatrics at the Florida hospital in Tampa, Dr. James Orlowski. It seems that the pressure that they use before sucking back could potentially drive the object further down into the airway. Dr. Orlowski says the pressure created by the device could potentially cause damage to other parts of the body in the process. If it can hold up a bowling ball, it can probably do a lot of damage to the airway and to other organs. 